this is the extended version of what is happening in the background and what is the potential outcome. Hello, I'm Avalon Kisby and I'm more than happy to have you here on YouTube. Thank you for joining me. This is a fairly new channel to me and I'm still trying to work out how to make this fluid between TikTok and YouTube. Finding that TikTok is wonderful for those three minute videos, but a lot of my readings can um, hold so much more value in a longer format. Um, and this particularly is one reading that I think is valuable um, here on YouTube. Let's do a recap of where we're at right now. So for what's happening in the background, we started off with the Ace of Swords. The potential outcome came up as the Ten of Swords. And then what this was about was two cards came out together, which was the Death card and the Lover's card. I'm not sure if I can show the Lover's card on YouTube or whether I get banned for that. So we'll just play it safe here. Now, two major arcana coming up as what this topic is about. And with them being Death and Lover's throws so many dynamics that this of, of possibilities of what this could be for sure it is talking about the dynamic of a relationship changing imminently now putting these two curves together can talk about either the end of a relationship it can talk about the end of a cycle where you've been in denial about some sort of relationship it can be talking about if you've been in a, a relationship that's been in limbo for a long period of time, something one way or the other, that shifting. It can also talk about an ending that is not, if there's been a third party situation, it can be talking about that dynamic changing. The other aspect of these two cards together, as I quickly mentioned in TikTok, is that this is... This is atomic energy, these two together. This is talking about, we see here with the lover's card, we see the snake in the tree, which is symbolic of temptation. We see the fire on, on, on the masculine side, which is showing the passion. And then we have got pure, raw Scorpio energy, which talks all about lust, passion, desire. This is like, real sexual energy, the combination of these two cards. Like I mentioned, this is this is dynamite together, okay? So it could be talking about a relationship where um, there is a lot of healing that is done through physical union. Okay, so where on the TikTok side of it, it kind of showed maybe the more negative aspects of it. There are so many more positive aspects that I wanted to share with you in this longer video, okay? But most definitely, not only in these two cards, but in the other two cards that support this is talking about beginnings and endings, okay? So here with this Ace of Swords, this is talking about maybe seeing things from a new perspective. Um, may, maybe there's been some information that has been given to you or is just about to be revealed. The Ace of Swords talks about logic, it talks about clarity, and it talks about communication. However, at this point, we can see that this sword is still stuck in the stone, right? You don't see the tip. You don't see the tip of the sword, the tip of the iceberg. There is more yet to be revealed. Now, the mountains that we see in tarot, they're always symbolic of trials, tribulations, difficulties, and overcoming them, all right? Now, at where we are here on this ledge, this precipice here of this mountain, you can see that there is gonna be much victory here with this crown, victory and growth. So whatever this change, and we're gonna pull more cards to see what this change is gonna be involving for this relationship, but with the potential outcome showing up as the 10 of swords, this is a card of endings as well. You can see something is being laid to rest. Like I say, maybe this is a third party situation. Maybe this has been um, an incredibly toxic relationship that you're now uh, freeing yourself from. There's so many ways that this could go. And because I'm reading for such a large collective, um, it's, it's um, I'm trying to give a nod in each of, in each of the different dynamics that we're picking up on here. 
okay but yes these cards the cards that all came out together are supporting the the message of this is very very clear of endings something new beginning and um you know we have to remember that the universe is always working in our favor all right so to bear that in mind now on screen we did pull on tiktok we did pull a couple more cards as what's going on behind the scenes we have the fool and then what is the potential outcome we have the seven of rods here okay so let's go in and look at these again what does the fool talk about it talks about new beginnings all right it's talking about these new beginnings being very joyful though something that you really enjoy um can you see this person is stopping and there's roses along this journey they're stopping to smell the roses it's telling you to enjoy i know sometimes when we go through challenges it's very difficult to see the more positive aspects of it if that's if that's where you are on this dynamic but it's it's saying stop and and enjoy your scenery go out maybe even go and ground yourself um, be in nature whatever you find healing there is a companion here with you on this particular journey and uh, the companion is kind of leading the way in some ways it's kind of saying look come on come on they, they're wanting to speed this up a bit now this is the before the tarot card when you when you deck when you come to the regular tarot deck you're going to see that they come to the edge of a cliff and it's going to be you know do you jump off it or what do you do and they do they well, this person jumps off it there's going to be a leap of faith that is going to come at some point in this okay now with the seven of wands you can see that this talks about quite a bit of conflict of having to stand up for what you truly believe in so whatever this dynamic is you stand your ground okay and um that's that's going to be something that is that is part of 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 this entire journey standing up for what you truly believe in all right let's go and pull some more cards on what is happening behind the scenes behind the scenes we have the knight of cups and potential outcome we have the strength card i love that behind the scenes there is love that is coming to you whether it's from this person coming in with new energy or there's been a shift in the dynamic or whether this is a new person entirely there is love that is coming in and it's very reciprocal energy the knight of cups you can see that there's i always i always see this as the person that i'm reading for and they're holding the cup and they're passing the cup so cups in tarot they talk about emotions they talk about love so somebody who is openly giving their love giving their emotions to another and they have the hand out to receive they're going to drink from it and then they're going to pass that cup back to you is what's going to happen all right so this is being prepared for you somewhere down this road with a strength card again this is a beautiful card the connection to whom this person is talking about is one that is eternal is infinite here with this symbol above here okay now in the strength card has a story to it too all all of, the, all of the tarot cards do in the pre in the before the tarot deck you will see these two and they will be standing they will be standing opposite each other and the lion will be roaring at at the angel and the angel will be kind of kind of step back there's going to be a little bit of trepidation when they first meet okay so whatever this situation is there could be some trepidation going forward then in the regular tarot deck what you see is this angel of this person and she puts the wreath that she's holding around the lion's neck and so there's it's symbolic of trust is being gained like the lion knows that this angel can captivate it or this person can can captivate it put it in captivity and this person or this angel knows that this lion can devour it can destroy it can destroy it and yet that doesn't happen what happens is they they come together and they they create this uh this bond that is unbreakable between them and that's how they move forward let's pull let's pull one more card from each pile so behind the scenes we have the five of wands the potential outcome 
the Empress. And then what is this about? We have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so let's start here with what is this about? So what is this about? The Queen of Cups is somebody who is highly emotive, highly empathic and highly intuitive. So you may already be very aware of changes that are happening within certain relationship dynamics, whether this is a dynamic in your relationship, whether this is a dynamic that is happening in someone who's in a third party situation to you, you might be fully aware of this inside, you might feel it. Okay. You're keeping it to yourself. You're keeping, look, do you see how the cup has got a lid on it? In all other cups, in, in every other cup, in, in every other deck, they're, all of the cups are open face like this. This cup is closed. There's a lid on it. Okay. They're not sharing. They're just observing. They're sitting, they're observing. They are sitting in their deep in their emotions and holding it all together okay so there could be a whole bunch of things bubbling under the surface and you would never know by the way that this person presents themselves okay so this is saying to me that you're you're very strong you may be very internal um but that you probably are very aware of what's going on around you already now with the Five of Wands, as what is happening in the background, there could be a lot of inner conflict. Inner conflict on your part, inner conflict on the person that we're talking about, and it could be even outer conflict between them and another, if it's a third party situation. Okay, but this card shows conflict of some kind happening in the background. Now that often happens right before a transformation. Transformations do not usually happen when we are fully sitting in a, maybe in a joyful place, it's usually through challenges that we grow, right? Um, so that could potentially be the case of what's going on in the background here. Now, as to the potential outcome, we have the Empress. And this is the after the tarot deck Empress, which is really beautiful. You're sitting with so much wisdom. Do you see the crown of wisdom? that's upon you from all of your experiences that you've had you're going to be able to share with others all of these experiences you have and give great wisdom to them okay once the student now the master this is also showing this looks like always looks like a light bulb to me it's not a light bulb but it looks like one and you know a light light does draw a lot of people to you so you're really drawing in um, a lot of um, other energy towards you. The swans here are very symbolic of life mates, something that is, you know, swans mate for life, all right? They have one partner and they mate. That's how you're seen as. You're seen as, you know, um, you know, wife or husband material. The, the cream of the crop, quite honestly, is how you are viewed. And this is how you should be viewing yourself. No matter what other people think of you, you know, really, at the, at the end of the day, this is how you should view yourself. You should be putting yourself on a pedestal. You should be understanding your value. You should know that all of these experiences that you're having are making or adding to your value. And uh, to really honor yourself and to see yourself as, you know, uh, somebody worthy, somebody worthy of um, having, if, if, if your goal is to have, you know, um, a, a solid partner or a solid relationship, if that's what you're looking for, a family, then you should value yourself and, you know, that is really the potential outcome. I thank you so much for joining me here on this extended version. Um, I invite you to follow me if you would like. I am going to be adding more content. I know I've said that for the last three days, but but I am going to be adding more content that is solely here for YouTube, um, potentially this afternoon. If not, then on Saturday. I have a couple, not, this is not my only job, okay? So I'm actually, by trade, I'm a registered massage therapist and I own my own spa. I'm also um, an esthetician. So this afternoon and tomorrow I'm booked for a lot of the day, both in the spa and, and with readings. So 
again, I thank you for being here. And uh, it's, it's so lovely to hear your comments and getting to know you on a different level over here. Okay, much love to each of you.